Chocolate-coated marshmallow treats or tea cakes are produced in different variations around the world, with several countries claiming to have invented them or hailing them as their national confection. Scottish chef Boyd Tunnock invented Tunnock's tea cake in 1956 when he developed the idea of using Italian meringue, adding it to a biscuit base, and covering it in milk chocolate. In Denmark the treat was originally made using cream hence the Danish name Flodeballer cream buns, but the filling was later made from egg whites to help industrialize production and improve shelf life. Many languages used to refer to these treats as phrases or compounds using a counterpart to Negro e.g., Negro's kiss, Negro bun. Most but not all of these are increasingly being avoided, especially in formal writing, in favor of less stigmatized substitutes such as Choco kiss. <laughs> National varieties Topic. Tea cake In the United Kingdom this confection is known as a chocolate tea cake. Though it is entirely unlike the usual English tea cake, a sweet roll with dried fruit which is served toasted and buttered. Tea cakes are generally served in the afternoon alongside a traditional British cuppa. There are several manufacturers of chocolate tea cakes in the UK, though the best known is Tunnock's, a Scottish company founded in 1890. It was invented by Boyd Tunnock in 1956. He developed the idea of using Italian meringue. He made a biscuit base, hand-piped the mallow onto the base and covered it in milk chocolate. The Tunnock's tea cake is commonly regarded in the same food category as the British biscuit, eaten at break times with a cup of tea as shown in advertising for the product. Popular throughout the UK, the Tunnock's tea cake enjoys iconic status in Scotland, evoking memories of childhood, or symbolising home. For Scots around the world. The Scottish National Blood Transfusion Service gives Tunnock's tea cakes to blood donors in Scotland after giving blood. There is an online appreciation society for the Tunnock's tea cake, and Dundee University also has an appreciation society for the Tunnock's tea cake. A giant fully edible replica of a Tunnock's tea cake was made by Michelle Kershaw and Nick Dodds at Pimp That Snack. The opening ceremony of the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow featured giant dancing Tunnock's tea cakes. The product itself consists of a small round shortbread base covered with a hemisphere of Italian meringue, a whipped egg white concoction similar to marshmallow. As this soft white fondant is based on egg white rather than gelatin, it is much more delicate than marshmallow. This is then coated in a thin layer of milk or plain chocolate and, in the case of Tunnock's, wrapped in a distinctive red and silver foil for the more popular milk chocolate variety, and a blue and gold wrapping for the plain chocolate type. Several competing brands to Tunnock's, such as Lee's Foods, also include jam in the center of the tea cake. In 2013 British cafe chain Costa Coffee introduced the giant marshmallow tea cake, which is around three times the size of a standard tea cake, with a chocolate biscuit base topped with marshmallow and raspberry jam in the centre. An argument about whether the tea cake is a biscuit or a cake led to an action in the European Court of Justice by British company Marks & Spencer. The UK tax authorities had eventually accepted the company's argument that the tea cakes were cakes biscuits are taxed, cakes are not, but refused to repay most of the VAT. The European Court ruled that in principle the tax should be repaid and in a further hearing before the UK Law Lords in 2009, after 13 years of litigation, Marks & Spencer won full repayment of the tax they had paid from 1973 to 1994, amounting to £3.5 million. This case was fought with Jaffa cakes. Topic: Naming in Turkey. In Turkey, there is no single term in common use. Literally, it can be called confection. Sometimes it could be called by related brand names as in kokomol or etipuf. Topic: Flodebel, Negerbel, Negerkies. In Denmark, the confection is known as a Flodebel cream bun, and was in some parts, mostly in the Copenhagen area of Denmark, formerly known as a Negerbel Negro bun or Negerkies Negro kiss. In the 1960s through 1980s, the term Negro was phased out by all major producers due to its use as a racial slur. 
Denmark also markets a variation shaped more like a patty, hence the name boff steak. Denmark is one of the largest producers of chocolate-coated marshmallow treats, producing approximately 800 million of these every year. The largest Danish producer, Elvirasminde, produces roughly 650 million treats, sending 400 million abroad and leaving the remaining 250 million to be eaten by the Danish population, putting the amount of floataballer eaten at 45 per Dane per year. In Denmark, chocolate coated marshmallow treats are traditionally handed out in school by children on their birthday. They are found in any supermarket, and most confectioners will have delicacy versions. It is also a popular addition to ice cream cones, offered at most shops selling ice cream. Usually they are placed on top of the last ball of ice cream with whipped cream and jam, or GUF, a topping made of whipped egg whites with sugar and fruit flavoring. Sometimes they are even found in restaurants. Many baking enthusiasts see them as a challenge, and it was a technical challenge in Den Store Bagadist the Great Bake Off on Danish TV. The popularity of the treat is evident from the sheer number of varieties. Variation in coating ranging from white chocolate over dark chocolate to licorice coating, with or without sprinkles. The base is often a plain wafer in commercial products, but delicacy and homemade versions often have shortbread, marzipan biscuits or other bases. Flavored filling is also very common especially when homemade, but licorice, marzipan and other flavors are commercially available. Variation in form is also common, often this is seen in commercial products ranging from wide and flat boff to tall with sharp edges Christmas tree. Within the last 10 years, luxury versions have become more popular, and has also made the image of the flowdebel change from a basic candy or cake, to a luxury product suitable as a dessert or present, similar to a box of high-quality chocolates. The luxury versions have a much thicker layer of chocolate, and the chocolate is of a much higher quality, available in many variations and additional toppings everything from chunk nuts, to small pieces of very thin gold. The bottom biscuit that usually has a very neutral taste is replaced with marzipan. These types were usually homemade and only found in special chocolate stores and restaurants, but is now available in most supermarkets, since mass-produced versions have become a huge success. Topic. Krembo Krembo, or Krembo Hebrew, Krembiawa contraction meaning literally, cream in it, is the name of a chocolate-coated marshmallow treat that is popular in Israel, especially in the winter as an alternative to ice cream. Krembo whipped snack consists of a round biscuit base 17% of total weight, topped with fluffy marshmallow creme-like foam 53%, coated in a thin layer of compound chocolate about 30%, and wrapped in colorful, thin aluminum foil. Over time, different flavorings have been attempted for the foam by the different manufacturers, but the most popular have always predominantly been the vanilla flavoring and, to a lesser extent, the mocha flavoring. According to a study funded by Strauss, Israel's leading Krembo producer, 69% of Israelis prefer to eat Krembos from the top down, starting with the cream, and only 10% start with the biscuit at the bottom, the rest had no preference. History European chocolate-coated marshmallow treats were popular as homemade sweets in Mandate Palestine, when it was known as Kushi Hebrew Kwisi, Nubian, or Black African and Rosh Kushi Hebrew language, Arzkwisi, Nubian's head. This name was borrowed from the names then used in Europe. It entered mass production in 1966. The first manufacturer, the Whitman Company, coined the name Krembo. In Hebrew, the word Krembo is a combination of krem cream, and bo in it. A mocha flavor was introduced in 1967. In 1979 Whitman was acquired by Strauss which has the major part of the Krembo market in Israel. During the 1980s and 1990s smaller manufacturers introduced additional flavors such as banana and strawberry but failed to achieve a significant market share. Today Strauss controls 54% of the Krembo market in Israel. In 2007, Nestlé introduced an ice cream variation of Krembo called Lekbo Hebrew, like you lick inside. Krembos are a seasonal treat sold only four months a year, from October to February. Nevertheless, 50 million Krembos are sold each year, an average of nine per person. 
Krembos are exported to the United States and Canada, and sold mostly in kosher shops and import stores. In 2005, Strauss signed an agreement with Unilever to export ice cream and krembos to the United States and Canada due to a demand for products of this type with strict kosher certification. Under terms of the agreement, they may be sold only in kosher supermarkets and import shops. The distributor in North America is Dairy Delight, a subsidiary of Norman's Dairy. In 2007, Nestlé introduced an ice cream variation of Krembo called Lekbo Hebrew, like you lick inside. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Nutritional information. The average Krembo weighs 25 grams, 0.92 ounces, and has 115 calories. According to the fine print on packing foil, per 100 grams of Krembo there are 419 calories, 3.2 grams protein, 64 grams carbohydrates of which 54 grams are sugars, 16.7% fats of which 13.9% are polysaturated fatty acids, less than 0.5% are trans fatty acids and 67 mg sodium. According to Halacha Under Kashrut, the dietary rules of Jewish law or Halacha, some Orthodox rabbis find significance to the order in which one eats a krembo. The blessing over the biscuit is Boromini Mazonet, whereas the blessing over the cream and chocolate is Shehakal Naya Bidvaro. According to Halacha, when eating a dish of mixed components, one need pronounce only the blessing over the main components, thus for a chocolate croissant one would say the blessing over the dough, and skip the blessing over the chocolate. But in the case of the krembo, there is no consensus as to which is the main component, the biscuit, or the cream and chocolate. One solution is to bless over each component separately. In popular culture. The Krembo has become a pop cultural, national icon. Although considered a children's treat, sociologists have found that it is consumed as a comfort food by Israeli expatriates in the United States, evoking nostalgia for their childhood. Israeli rock band Kaveret's hit song, Sheer Hamakale, the grocery store song, mentions a character buying Krembo. In the Hebrew version of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, as translated by Gilly Bar Hillel, Dumbledore's favorite sweet is a krembo, rather than a sherbet lemon. Alan krembo Sajiv is a fictional character in the Israeli cult film Mivsa Savta Operation Granny. As a child on a kibbutz he once stole an entire case of krembos and locked himself in his room. With the entire kibbutz waiting for him outside he had to dispose of the evidence and ate the entire case 500 krembos, earning himself his much-loathed nickname. Topic. Malomars In the United States, malomars are produced by Nabisco. A graham cracker circle is overlain with extruded marshmallow, then coated in a thin shell of dark chocolate. Malomars were introduced to the public in 1913, the same year as the moon pie a confection which has similar ingredients. The first box of Malomars was sold in West Hoboken, New Jersey, now Union City, New Jersey. Malomars are generally available from early October through to April. They are not distributed during the summer months, supposedly because they melt easily in summer temperatures, though this is as much for marketing reasons as for practical ones. Devoted eaters of the cookie have been known to stock up during winter months and keep them refrigerated over the summer, although Nabisco markets other chocolate-coated cookie brands year-round. 85% of all Malomars are sold in the New York metropolitan area. They are produced entirely within Canada, at a factory in Scarborough, Ontario. <laughs> Shokokus, Negerkus, Morinkoff In Germany Shokokus were first commercially made 1920, although the first mention of them in dates back to 1829. Industrial manufacturing started in the 1950s. The sweets are made all year long, approximately 1 billion are made per year, placing average consumption at about one dozen per person per year. They are available in supermarkets, many bakeries and traditionally sold at fairs. Sometimes they are consumed pressed between two halves of a bun, which is also referred to as a matchbrotchen, mud roll, squished bread roll, 
mostly by children. The interior is always egg white foam, sweetened with sugar, but there are also varieties using sugar substitutes available on the German market. The original colloquial names were Morenkopf, Moore's Head, or Negerkus, Negro's Kiss, but most companies changed the product name to a more neutral Schokokus or Schokokus, Chocolate Kiss, Schomkus or Schomkus, Foam Kiss, or to brand specific names. In German speaking Switzerland, they are still sold as Morenkopf. In the French-speaking part of Switzerland as well as France they are known as tête choco, chocolate heads, or and more commonly as tête de negra in France. Nikarinsukat <inaudible> In Finland, the name originated from Germany, and they were named Negro Kisses in 1951. In 2001 the name was changed to Brunberg's Kisses. After the manufacturer, for largely the same reasons as in Denmark, Germany, and elsewhere. Topic: <inaudible> In Flanders, the confection is known as negerinenteten. The word can either be translated as "negresses tits," or could originate from the French word for head, tête, as the French word for this confection used to be tête de negre, which is French for. Negro's head. This is also the probable origin of an alternative name Negerteten. Nowadays manufacturers market the confection under a different name, as the aforementioned terms are considered to be offensive. <laughs> Mellow cakes In Belgium, Milka branded it under the name Mellow Cakes. These popular treats are sold in packages of 6 pieces and up to 30 pieces family pack. Topic: Negertsonen. In the Netherlands the name is Negertsonen, Negro Kisses. Though some companies have changed the name to Zonen, Kisses. This led to some controversy, since the Dutch word neger was generally perceived as more neutral compared to the English equivalent negro, which is considered pejorative and racist. Those often package nine per box to create the pun negen zonen, nine kisses. One such company, Buys, has said that the name change was made for marketing reasons. Topic: <laughs> Whippets. Whippet cookies are produced in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. They consist of a biscuit base topped with marshmallow-like filling and then coated in a hard shell of pure chocolate. Whippet cookies first came to the market in 1927, although they had been produced and distributed by VO under the name Empire as early as 1901. Today, the cookies are still produced in Montreal at the east end of the VO factory, which is now owned by Dare Foods. They are currently available with both dark chocolate and milk chocolate coatings, and with several flavors of artificial fruit jam filling inside the marshmallow-like filling. The cookies are similar to Malomars of New York City. They also bear a striking resemblance to Tunnock's tea cakes as well as Crembo's. However, the Tunnock tea cake does not have the same kind of chocolate and a different type of filling. The Whippet cookie is a distinct part of Quebec culture because it does not travel well outside its area of production. This is partly because the pure chocolate melts very easily compared with a chocolate mixture and therefore they require refrigerated transport in summer. Furthermore, the combination of the hard chocolate shell and the air-filled inner marshmallow make them self-destruct when placed in the unpressurized or semi-pressurized cargo section of an airplane. However, they are currently available at various grocery locations throughout Canada and the U.S. Though usually known by their proper trade name Whippets, these biscuits are also popularly referred to in the Montreal area as Nuns Farts in the Anglophone community. Though they bear absolutely no resemblance to the Quebec pastry confections called Pets de Sers, it has been suggested that the combination of dark chocolate coating and white marshmallow filling is evocative of the black and white habits of certain orders of Quebec nuns. This, in conjunction with their light and airy texture, may have given rise to the cheeky Anglo Quebecois moniker. It is not used by the francophone community. An episode of the Canadian science program How It's Made showed the production process behind the cookie. However, many aspects of the production process the amount of marshmallow filling, the ingredients, etc. were not revealed. 
The show's narrator described these aspects as classified information. As Canadian law requires an ingredient list on each package, the amount of confidential information involved is limited. Another Canadian cookie, Viva Puffs, is produced by Dare Foods in five flavors. Viva is a trade name. These confections have been known in English Canada for at least 50 years as chocolate puffs. Topic: <laughs> Choco Mallows. In the Philippines, Fibisco makes a product similar to Malomars called Choco Mallows that, unlike Malomars, is available year-round. Likely due to the tropical climate, the hard chocolate shell of a Choco Mallow is usually just a soft chocolate covering that does not completely harden even after being refrigerated. Beso de Negro In Bolivia, Chocolates Condor is the traditional manufacturer of Beso de Negro, Negro Kiss. The confection is similar to the German Schokokus in its use of a sweetened egg white foam filling rather than a marshmallow-based filling. There have been attempts to introduce variations in flavor, but the classic version remains the most popular. <laughs> Beso de Moza In Peru, the confections are known as Beso de Moza, Girls Kiss Link, sold by Nestlé. Currently there is a contest between strawberry and lucuma flavors to become permanent versions of the product. <laughs> Beso de Negra In Colombia and Ecuador, it's called Beso de Negra Black Woman's Kiss or Chocmelo. A portmanteau of chocolate and marshmallow, marshmallow. However, these last ones don't always have a cookie as its base. Topic: <inaudible> Bombocas. In Portugal, these confections are known as bombocas, sold by different brands, usually the supermarket ones. They are sold in three main flavors, meringue white interior, strawberry pink, and vanilla yellow. They are being called Beijings in the last few years. <laughs> Mallow puffs In New Zealand biscuit manufacturers Griffins make Mallow puffs, a chocolate biscuit that is described as a Light fluffy marshmallow sitting on top of a shortcake biscuit, covered in luxurious milk chocolate. The marshmallow in Mallow Puffs tends to be more dense and rubbery than in some similar products, such as Tunnock's chocolate tea cakes. They come in a variety of flavors, including cookies and cream, hokey pokey, toffee, rocky road, double chocolate, and original chocolate. The slogan from a national advertising campaign for Mallow Puffs: Have you done enough for a Mallow Puff? has entered into the New Zealand cultural lexicon. <inaudible> Munchmellow Produced in Serbia by Jaffa, it has a cookie base and a soft sponge filling covered by a cocoa mix. <inaudible> Na benta In Brazil the dessert is known as na benta and is manufactured by the Copenhagen Chocolatery. The cookies are sold in a variety of flavors, including coconut, lemon, passion fruit, caramel, boysenberry, tonka bean and coffee. It is also known as teta de niga, black woman's tit, but the name is becoming less used because its roots on racial prejudice and segregation. Ricardito In Uruguay is known as Ricardito. Merengue covered in chocolate manufactured by Ricard http colon slash slash www.plucky.com.uy slash sitio slash productos slash ricardito. PHP Topic Zephyr Zephyr Russian, Zephyr may also be spelled Zephyr or Zephyr is made from fruit and berry puree with added sugar and whipped egg whites. It is commonly produced and sold in the countries of the former Soviet Union. 
The recipe is a merger of the traditional Russian pastilla with French meringue. The name given after the Greek god of the light Westwind Zephyr symbolizes its delicate airy consistency. The consistency is similar to that of marshmallows, shokokus or krembo. The form typically resembles traditional meringue. However, in contrast to commercial meringue, it is never crisp. Both pure and chocolate-coated versions are widespread. In contrast to the other confectionaries of this type, it has no biscuit base. Other varieties In Lebanon, a local variation went on sale in the 1950s under the name Ras el Abid slave's head by Gander, however, it has since been changed to Tarbouche or Tarbouche fez but continues to be referred to by the former name in public. Arnott's Chocolate Royals are a chocolate-coated marshmallow treat of Australia, which are available in milk and dark chocolate varieties, and are similar in appearance to a tunnock's teacake. In South Africa, a similar confection is Sweetie Pies, originally made by Cadbury's but now by Byers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate Fish. In New Zealand, a common chocolate-coated marshmallow treat is the chocolate fish. A fish-shaped delicacy, 12 to 20 centimeters (5 to 8 inches) in length, it is made of pink or white marshmallow covered in a thin layer of milk chocolate. The milk chocolate's texture features scale-like ripples on the fish, created by the fish moving under a blower during production. In Kiwi culture, the chocolate fish is a common immediate reward or prize for a small job done well, e.g., "Give that kid a chocolate fish." So much so that a phrase suggesting a person be awarded one can be said regardless of availability of the treat and either as a compliment or sarcastically. <laughs> Chocolate marshmallow pies Chocolate marshmallow pies differ from regular chocolate-coated marshmallow treats in that there is a cake or cookie-like layer above as well as below the marshmallow filling, that is, the marshmallow filling is sandwiched between two layers of cake or cookie, the entirety then being enrobed in chocolate. Some local names for chocolate marshmallow pies are Chocolate marshmallow pie, a generic term in the United States e.g., Little Debbie chocolate-flavored marshmallow pies. Moon pie a brand name of Chattanooga Bakery in the United States, particularly the southern United States. Scooter Pie, a brand name of Burries in the United States, particularly in the northeastern United States. Choco Pie, originally a brand name, now a common noun as a generic trademark, originally in South Korea but now also in Russia and other parts of East Asia, South Asia and Southeast Asia. Angel Pie. A brand name of Morinaga in Japan. Wagon Wheels. A brand name used by both Burton's Biscuit and Dare Foods in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia and certain other countries. <laughs> See also